An ancient epic poem from Mesopotamian mythology that is considered one of the earliest works of literature in human history. This story is centered around the legendary king of Uruk, who is believed to have ruled around 2700 BC, and its influence is still felt to this day. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, or welcome back, to Pantheon Mythology. Today we'll be exploring the epic poem of Gilgamesh and the meaning behind it. But first, a quick reminder that we release mythologically epic content on a weekly basis. So if that's your thing, give a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, shall we? The epic begins by introducing Gilgamesh as a powerful and arrogant ruler who is feared and hated by his people. A tyrant who takes whatever he wants and shows little regard for the welfare of his subjects. The women of Uruk are subject to oppression in the form of a lord's right, which permits the ruler to have relations with brides on their wedding night. As for the young men, it is thought that Gilgamesh may have subjected them to physically strenuous activities such as games, tests of strength, or even coerced labor on construction projects. So with this, the people of Uruk complain to the gods about Gilgamesh's behavior. And in response, the goddess Ururu creates a wild man named Enkidu to be his equal and challenge him. Enkidu is described as a primitive man who lives among the wild animals, covered in hair with body like a beast, but he possesses great strength and agility. Enkidu is eventually lured to civilization by a prostitute named Shamhat, who is sent by Gilgamesh to seduce him, which she does for six days and seven nights, and bring him into the city. What an introduction to life! Gilgamesh and Enkidu meet and fight, but eventually become friends and embark on a series of adventures together. They battle various monsters and demons, including the monstrous Humbaba, who guards the cedar forest. They also encounter the goddess Ishtar, who is smitten with Gilgamesh and offers to make him her consort. When Gilgamesh rejects her, Ishtar becomes enraged and unleashes the bowl of heaven to destroy him. But the duo manage to defeat it, which angers the gods, and due to this, Enkidu is cursed for his role in the battle. Despite their victories, Gilgamesh and Enkidu are haunted by the knowledge of their own mortality. They journey to the cedar forest to cut down trees and build a great palace, but in doing so, they anger the gods even further, who decide that Enkidu must die as punishment for their actions. Enkidu falls ill and dies, leaving Gilgamesh alone and grief-stricken. He becomes obsessed with the fear of death and sets out on a journey to find a way to cheat it. Traveling to the ends of the earth, seeking the advice of various wisest of the wise. Through his quest, Gilgamesh learns of a man named Utnapishtim, who was granted immortality by the gods, so sets out on a perilous journey to find him and learn the secret of eternal life. Along the way, he encounters various obstacles, before meeting the goddess Siduri, who tells him his quest is in vain as death is inevitable for all mortals and it's best just to enjoy the pleasures life has to offer. Gilgamesh rejects this though, so Siduri, after much persuasion, guides him to Urshanabi, the ferryman who transports him over the deadly waters to the dwelling of Utnapishtim and his spouse. Utnapishtim informs him that he cannot aid him since he was bestowed with immortality by the gods after saving two of every animal on a boat during the Great Flood. This sounds awfully familiar, doesn't it? And lacks the authority to grant the same on Gilgamesh. Nevertheless, he presents the king with two challenges to prove to the gods that he deserves eternal life. Firstly, Gilgamesh must prove himself by remaining awake for six consecutive days and nights, which he fails to accomplish. Secondly, Utnapishtim tells Gilgamesh that at the bottom of the sea there lives a plant that will make him young again, but after retrieving it, he carelessly leaves it on the bank while bathing, and a serpent consumes it. Despite his failed quest, upon returning home, he is a changed man, humbled by his experiences and becomes a wiser and more compassionate ruler. He is now remembered as a great king and a hero who wrote his experiences on a lapis lazuli tablet, burying it beneath the city walls where it was discovered by archaeologists in Nineveh, northern Iraq, in 1849. The story of Gilgamesh is a complex narrative that explores a range of themes and ideas that were important in ancient Mesopotamian culture. At its core, however, the story of Gilgamesh is an exploration of what it means to be human, the joys, the sorrows, and struggles that come with our existence. 
beginning with his status as an arrogant, tyrannical ruler who is later humbled by his encounters with Enkidu and his quest for immortality. Through his relationship with Enkidu, Gilgamesh learns the importance of friendship, companionship and love. The story also delves into themes of mortality and the human desire for immortality. Gilgamesh's pursuit of eternal life ultimately ends in failure, but the true meaning of life can be found in the connections we make with others and the legacies we leave behind. Additionally, the story of Gilgamesh grapples with the themes of power and responsibilities that come with it. As a king, he is tasked with ruling his people justly and protecting them from harm. However, his early exploits as a tyrant demonstrate the dangers of unchecked power, while his later acts of heroism show the potential for a just ruler to make a positive impact on his people. Who says people can't change? Overall, the story of Gilgamesh offers a nuanced exploration of the human experience, grappling with timeless themes of love, loss, mortality, power and the quest for meaning and purpose in life. Well, there we have it ladies and gentlemen. Gilgamesh, what messages and meanings do you take from this tale? But before you go, why not check out our clothing brand, Pantheon Apparel. You'll find designs based on deities, beasts and legends from across the mythos. We're rated excellent on Trustpilot and ship worldwide. You'll find a link in the description. This video on the left here is one that YouTube thinks you'll love and this playlist on the right here features every single one of our videos if you fancy a massive binge session, perfect for a bedtime listen. I've been your host Adam and thanks for tuning in. See you on the next one.